Hello again everybody, this is Mr. Everything, and we're coming back at you with another shopping experience. This time we're going to go with weapons and ammo and armor at Cubby Blast in our core. And we're going to check out and see what we have available and all the different options. Uh, now the shopping experience is the same in all the different shops, so the way you purchase things are the same. Um, this is the second one in my series, so let's go ahead and take a look at the guns. You can see them all displayed right there. Uh, there is the sniper rifle, the auto cannon, the shotgun, the laser rifle, and then in the back you can see that we've got the uh, outlaw and the marine armor, and then we have handguns on the wall over there. Grenades are not in the system just yet, no, nor barricades or claymores or anything like that. Let's get over here to the Outlaw Armor. This is the Castec Arms Sparrer Light Armor. It's 9500 Alpha UEC. When evasion is essential, Castec Arms Sparrer Armor won't drag you down. Its patented lightweight weave is sufficiently strong to maintain the suit's integrity long enough for you to get where you need to go. Check it out. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's light. It's got a nice, it's got a helmet, a very unique helmet. Um, looks like it might have a lot of visibility. It's hard to tell because uh, it's got those little lenses over the eyes and things. All right, let's check out the medium. It's the Brawler Medium from Castec for 14,000 Alpha UEC. The ideal balance of security and speed. Castec Arms Brawler Armor is graded and durable while also retaining combat flexibility, ensuring you can adapt to your tactics. I like it. I like the helmet. It looks kind of a kind of mean looking. Let's take a look at the heavy armor. That's the Slugger heavy armor. It's 20,000 Alpha UEC. Being a movable force with Castic Arm Slugger heavy armor, its resilient armor plating and variety of attachment points are designed to withstand attacks long enough to give you the opportunity to react and respond to combat at your own terms. Looks like piecemeal armor, you know. It looks like something there. It, it, I don't know. It just, to me, it looks ghetto. You know what I mean? It just looks like it's a salvagers type of armor or something. I don't know. It just doesn't look right. That's why it's an outlaw armor, I guess. All right, let's take a look at the marine armor. We got the PAB. The PAB. The PAB 4 light armor. When speed and mobility are essential, CBS PAB 4 light armor balances durability while still providing a maximum maneuverability. Widely used amongst the Marines for everyday use. Great visibility out of the uh, wide open helmet. It looks really lightweight. This is something you might see a pilot wear. Uh, <clears throat> this is the old style. Uh, these are were being worked on. Very look, very good. The Mark II medium armor. Clark Defense's system is composite mesh, fiber reinforced, a blade of plates offering modest protection against both energy and kinetic weapons. The armor is ballistic solution for any number, or I'm sorry, baseline solution for any number of situations average Marine will encounter from a day-to-day -day basis. Now, I like the little green tint it's got. I thought that was kind of good touch uh, but uh, it looks like it's missing plates in certain areas but then again that's why it's a medium I guess that's ballistic weave around the stomach and then a hard plates around the chest looks pretty good looks like it's got good visibility too attachment points for your magazines on the, the waistline there that looks pretty good all right let's take a, th take a look at the Achilles heavy armor uh, it is designed to ensure endure when others fail. Virgil's Achilles personal heavy armor features full body protection and multiple attachment points for added loadout customization, so you can focus on standing your ground. Uh, it has uh, looks like first sergeant stripes on there. Um, I didn't look very closely. Could be master sergeant. Could be anything really. Car sergeant, but uh, in the zero seven, I don't. That's supposed to be the number of the armor, the person. I guess each person gets their own number, but uh, that needs to be worked on. That's just like a default look at. All right, let's take a look at our flight suits. We're keeping them in the back room here, which has now been opened up. We've got three levels of flight suits. They're all Odyssey flight suits. Uh, this one, this display here is a 3000 Alpha UEC display. Uh, 
and explore the stars in supreme comfort with RSI's Odyssey flights. If cutting edge materials provide lightweight protection against vacuum and light environment hazards. And also featuring the, uh, the stretch paneling to ensure a perfect fit. I like that color right there. I like the white with a little gold and the, I guess that's not gold. I guess it's kind of an orange. Yeah. White, black, orange. It's kind of a cool color combination. Now you get over here and you're looking at 4,700 Alpha UEC for this style over here. Uh, they're all Odyssey flight suits. They're all pretty much exactly the same. It's just color and style is the difference. The gray, white, and orange, that's kind of a good look at two. That's kind of a good look. Now these aren't gonna offer you the same kind of protection that armor will protect you. This is just gonna keep you from dying when you go into the vacuum of space. So this is like, you, you start off with one of these, uh, the 3000 model, and um, if you go into space, you wear it, don't die, no armor. Now this on this side, you got the 7375, is the cost uh but again it's just really style and look i don't know uh if they provide any more or less armor protection and this this is a little decadent right here this one with the gold trim and everything i was like you know i gotta have that one you know just because it's super gold <laughs> it means you're rich that's what i'm thinking i don't know and then the, the red look kind of is a cool look, you know, daredevil look there, you know, it's hard to tell. But uh, I, I like all of these. Um, I don't know if I'd spend any extra to get something that doesn't really provide me any armor. All right, let's take a look at the weapons. You can get your Medipens out here on this display, 300 Alpha UEC. They'll heal you. For you. So if you run out of Medipens, you can get more. Uh, there is... The four guns. You got your Arrowhead Energy Rifle, Klaus and Werner. This is the sniper rifle. So you can 4000 Alpha UEC Klaus and Werner Arrowhead Model 6 Long Range Energy Rifle features a fiberglass composite. And I love the scope on it because uh, the multiple levels of zoom and you can see it's digital. So whatever you're pointing at, you can actually see through the scope. I thought that was uh, a beautiful touch. Looks like my hand might be just a little bit too high up on the rifle, but again, no, maybe not. All right, so now let's take a look at the ATT4 Energy Rifle. This is just your standard laser rifle, dependable assault weapon, never to go out of style. Klaus and Werner maintains the tradition of unveiling the ATT4. This energy-based assault rifle is capable of providing accurate and sustained fire at targets up to medium range. High capacity battery, so you won't be recharging it. You don't have to be carrying extra batteries. Now it has a uh, red dot scope. Comes built, comes with it. Um, I think it's like 120 shots or something like that, and it does do full auto. All right, so let's take a take a look at the what is this? The P4 assault rifle, ballistic rifle. P4 kind of like the M4, but it looks a lot like the G36. Bearings Classic P4 Assault Rifle features classable stock, magazines, just has your standard uh, iron sights. Looks like they're folding. Uh, it does have a rail system on there, so you could put a scope on it or something like that. And then you got the Devastator 12 Energy Shotgun, 3000 Alpha UEC. Castic Arms Devastator KS-12 is a semi-automatic electric shotgun capable of delivering sustained medium-range high-impact plasma blasts. It's pretty cool. It's not electric per se, it's plasma. And it's got a little reflex sight on it, you know, for quick shooting. It's a shotgun because it actually, when you fire it, it kind of spreads out and has a big area of effect. And those are the rifles that are available at this time. Uh, remember there's an inspect, that's what I was just doing there. And then there's the buy. And when you go to in, you adjust the uh, selection, inspect buy, just by using the mouse wheel. All right, we come over here and there's two pistols available right now. We got the LH-86 ballistic pistol. Uh, Gemini is a compact kinetic handgun designed for personal defense. Basically it fires a bullet. Uh, 
comes with a low light sight tritium. That's what those like three dots are. They glow in the dark so you can see in low light. Basically glow in the dark dots. And you kind of figure out like how to shoot. And you can see it's got a hammer on the back and it's basically just your standard ballistic pistol. And then you have your arc light energy pistol. It's a laser, laser pistol. Uh, the Model 2 Arc Light is becoming extremely popular, and that's the one you start off with. And it's 1100 Alpha UC if you don't already have it. PS10 compatible power cell offers more than enough shots to finish the job. I think you get like 60 shots with it. It's pretty high. Beautiful work on these. Now, it looks like it might have supposed to have a hammer, but it doesn't. I mean, at least it's not like a Buck Rogers ray gun or a Star Trek phaser. It actually looks like it's functional. It's got a very similar style to a handgun. So it's easier to transition from one handgun to another because then you won't need a lot of extra training. Inspect now, unequipped. There, I just unequipped it. Uh, or, yeah, it's equipped. I could unequip it. And then, but that was it. I was glancing around just to make sure that there's no additional types of pistols but those are the only two available at this time is the ballistic and the laser and you can get more ammo so like when you run out of ammo you can go to the ammo crates and you can buy additional ammo for your uh, various weapons it's 125 alpha UEC all right and that was the shopping experience at cubby blast that has all the different items that are available there Thanks for coming out and checking out this video, and I'll see you in the verse.